This is the United States MRE menu number 19, beef patty, jalapeno pepper jack. This has uh, been in service, I think, since uh, 2013. This one was packed uh, the fourth day, 2022. I'm really looking forward to getting into this one. Let's see if this uh, Terranacho will work for me. All right. Now let's dig on in here. Uh, double wrapped. Doesn't want any child support, so let's double that baby up. Start off here. Here's the beef patty with jalapeno. So this is packed. Uh, yeah, 56 day. Well, 56 day of 2022. So next we got all gratin potatoes. 39th day of 2022. Who doesn't love some all gratin potatoes? Good stuff. Oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie. Nice. Peanut M&Ms. Some plain tortillas. Accessory pack. Here's your sleeve for your FRH. Here's your FRH for Flamus Ration Heaters. Got the instructions on there. The hot beverage bag. Cheese spread with bacon. I have not had this, so that should be good. Barbecue sauce, one ounce. Some fat-free mayonnaise. That just doesn't sound too appealing to me at all, but hey. And our spoon. US MRE spoons are really nice. All right, well, let's get this all set up and uh, get right back with you. All right. Check into this accessory pack too. Cinnamon gum. The old Bill's Brew. Creamer, non-dairy. Moist towelette. Packet of Splenda. Some iodized salt. Sugar. And some toilet paper, napkins, whatever you want to use it for. That's up to you. All right. Get that stuff out of the way. Gonna get that all grind potatoes and beef patty heating up. All right, something actually liked me the carrot. All right, tore a little bit up here, but it should be good. The heating element in the middle there. Just a touch more. Perfect. Got a little shake. And I'll actually maybe use this sleeve like it's intended to. There we go. 
set this off to the side while we're getting those other stuff set up. All right, let's tear into this uh, oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie. It's got 290 calories. Two ounces or 57 grams. Oh, look at that. Oh, smell the chocolate and the oatmeal right away. Smells fresh as can be. Excellent. Open up these tortillas. Get your oxygen absorber in there. Make sure you get that off of there. Got two really nice ones. They're not uh, separating yet, so that's great. What else? Set those off to the side there. Let's get out those peanut M&Ms. Oh, those are all crunchy. Look at that. It'll still be good though. Go ahead and pop one of those real quick. So we got a couple desserts here, snacks. That's good. It's late at night here. I don't know if I wanna. Man, eh, we'll we'll do it anyway. There's no cold beverage in here. Just uh, just the coffee. That's a bummer. We'll get some hot water. Yeah, I was just checking. This thing is not activating which is weird very light heat I mean it's working a little bit well here's hoping it'll take off here well I got you here I just want to thank everybody for all the views and comments you know the community for the MREs for rations of are really great you know very responsive very nice people so just wanted to thank everybody it's you know just kind of getting into the the review and port you know of MREs on YouTube I don't know if any of you guys watch any of my other videos it's a lot of fishing camping things like that so you know it's a different different thing for me so I really appreciate everybody you know the nice comments and everything yeah everything's much appreciated all the all the likes, comments, uh, the subscriptions I've been getting, it's been great. If you guys, you know, want to see something different, let me know. You know, what do you want me to try out? You know, I'm more than happy to do whatever. Enough yakking anyway. Let's get this coffee out. I'm going to put the creamer. Quite possibly... Splenda or sugar? Let's go with the sugar. Knock in the pole, knock in the pole. And that Bill's Brew. Freeze dried. Just enough. Looks good. Smells good.
taste good. It's a good cup of coffee. I'm going to drink a little bit of that, not a whole lot. It is nighttime and I got to go to bed and be up at 3 a.m. So that's going to come around real quick. That's a good cup of coffee for sure. The main is warming up a bit. And just this cheese spread with bacon. Just knead that up. Any tear notches? No. Not low enough. Looks like some good processed cheese. Oh, I can smell that bacon. That's good. Tastes like that cheddar bacon um, aerosol cheese spray. Kraft, I think, makes it. Actual piece of bacon in there. Wow, that's pretty good. It's fat-free mayonnaise. Ah, no interest in that. I don't know, even know what you can put mayonnaise on a fat-free mayonnaise on that. Barbecue sauce and cheese make up a sandwich here. Let's try try out this cookie. It's, it's crumbly. <laughs> a good look at that. Mmm. Big chunks of chocolate. There's a great oatmeal taste to it as well. That's really a top tier cookie in my opinion. I do love soft cookies, but this is crunchy, but it's not hard to eat. Not, not like super hard crunchy. Just a nice airy crunch. Very, very good. Mm. Man, that's so good. The main should be just about done here. Follow that cookie up with some coffee. Mm. Perfect. Well, all right. Ready or not? Here I come. Let me get it activated a bit. It's warm. Let's get these out. with that au gratin potatoes. Looks cheesy. Doesn't smell like much of anything. Lots of cheese. And let's check out the main attraction here, huh? These tear strips, they work great on these. Ooh, that smells good. Smell that jalapenos right away. My dog is like, yep. I can smell that, Dad. Let's get that out there. Not a whole lot of liquid or anything in there. I mean, it's moist. 
Yeah, maybe because it didn't heat up enough. There is some some fat in there that didn't render down. If it would have got hotter, it would have. All right, well, that looks good. Start off with these al gratin potatoes, shall we? Cheese and potatoes. That's all you get. Nothing fancy on these al gratin potatoes. Potatoes are nice and soft. Not too terribly mushy, though. Know? Definitely use some of that salt. Save just a little bit for that patty, just in case. Alright, try that. Some pepper would have been nice. I can't believe there's no pepper in here. Salt help though. That's good. Nothing fancy. It's not like I mean, <laughs> it's not like a restaurant style. Runs a restaurant quality. Very plain, very basic. Let's try out that jalapeno pepper patty. Definitely taste that jalapeno. It's good. It's a nice, it's got a nice firm press to it. Woo! That is a little spicy though. I'm not gonna lie. The spice is in there. That's actually really good. Really, really good. But you knew it was coming. So here it comes. We're gonna cut up some strips here. I like that it's not just a squish patty, you know. Takes a little bit of effort to get through it. it looks good. You know we're putting that Bacon cheese spread on there. There we go. Let's roll that up. Give it a little go. That's not bad. That is a lot better than I thought it would be, to be quite honest with you. Very, very pleased. I mean, it's got great flavors. That bacon cheese adds a little flavor. Checking out the, the wet nap here. Not too bad, a little, little flimsy, very moist, neutral smelling. All right. Let's crash more into that. This is good. Wish it would have warmed up a little bit more. But hey, you're out in the field, you'd be super happy with this. It's got flavor, it's got spice. It's all there. Last bite on this. Yummy. Make another one here. My dog is sitting right next to me just staring at this. Oh, way to make a mess. Well, we're going to go with the 
barbecue sauce on this one. Pretty runny. Just give that a. That smells like KC masterpiece a bit. Ugh. Not the best tasting stuff in the world, but the taste right away just kind of shocks you. It's kind of, you know, vinegary, sweet. After you get it down in the processes, it's not that bad. But right away, it was just different. Definitely not the, what I'm used to from a barbecue sauce, but not bad after you get used to it. Right, let's give that a shot and then we might put some cheese on there with it. Yeah, that works too. Just, you know, barbecue rib sandwich kind of tastes like. That's exactly what that tastes like. All right, Ellie. Let's get your take on this. Don't worry, guys. My dog is eats spicy stuff all the time. And this isn't that spicy. Come on. Come get it. Come on. Right here. Yeah, she got a sore on her nose that came up the other day. I don't know where it came from. You like that? Sit down. Good girl. All right. Yeah, that barbecue sauce works really well with that, too. So let's try both cheese and the barbecue sauce. I don't want to put a whole lot of cheese on. I'll be st stuffed up for the next couple of days. All right. Look at that cross section. Beautiful. Mm. Mm -mm. That's good. Definitely wish there was some kind of drink in here other than just a coffee. But we do have water. If we need it. A lot of flavor in that um, the jalapeno sausage patty. Sausage patty? <laughs> Beef patty. Here's the nutrition facts if you want to take a look at it. Caramel color added. Ingredients. Cooked beef. Very good. Very tasty. These can, I love all gratin potatoes, but these are just cheese and a potato. Not nothing, not nothing, nothing special. Could put it on there, but why? It's kind of has an off, off-putting fake processed cheese taste. This is really good. It doesn't have that really bad processed cheese taste. Really good cooking. Peanut and M&Ms are really great. Fat-free mayonnaise, I'm not even going to bother with that. It's not not for me. Cinnamon gum. Not my favorite. Too many flashbacks of Goldschlager. But this cinnamon gum is like a spiced cinnamon. It's just, I mean, I can handle, you know, cinnamon sugar, cinnamon reeler, you know, cinnamon gum. But this is like a spiced flavored cinnamon. I'm not a, not the biggest fan of it. Mouth's a little spiced up. Bite of that cookie again. The big chunks. Of chocolate in there. Mm. Save that in the M and M's and bring to work for breakfast in the morning. All right, I might actually finish a main for once. 
last bite. All right, Ellie, here you go. All right, guys, well, I think that's just about gonna do it. Once again, I wanna thank everybody for the views, the follows. If you don't mind subscribing, I would really appreciate it. What a great menu. I would give this an easy 9.2 out of 10. Very, very good. Cookies great, M&M's great. Subpar, beef patty delicious. Barbecue sauce, delicious. And that cheese bread with bacon. Beautiful. All right, guys. Until next one, have a great one. Take it easy.